Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something very exciting. My sister graduates um, this May, even though I'm not sure if she's having a graduation, but I promised her I'd make her graduation fit. So that's what we're doing this week um, because it definitely won't be done today, but we are going to make a jumpsuit. So I guess not a jumpsuit. We're gonna make a two piece. We're gonna make a top and a pair of pants. And my sister sent me some references of what she wants. And then we're gonna also make a dress. This is the bodice. I just made it out of some scrap fabric that I had. Oh, yeah, don't even look at that. It looks like trash, but I also want to be honest in a sewing journey that it's not always going to be like, oh, I know how to do this for the first time. But we have some darts in there. They need to go a little bit higher. And there's a back too, so it's lined. But basically what I did was cut out a front and then two sides. I did that twice. Sewed the sides to their respective fronts and then sewed it all together. So that way I didn't have to deal with like hemming. And I left the bottom open to just go ahead and fold down and hem the bottom. But if I needed to change the length, I could do that. Tested it on my sister, made some marks, like the straps need to be shorter. The top could actually come up a little bit higher, um, which means my darts have to go up higher. And then I went ahead and changed this shape because it was just like, I don't have boobs. So I don't know what that's supposed to look like. So it's, not, it's gonna be now more of like just a, um, whatever, half circle. But we're graduating now to this fabric because I think I have a good sense of what I wanna do and how I wanna do it. So the bodice wasn't that bad. Uh, it just didn't look the way I wanted it to look. So now that I fixed it in the pattern, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on a cuter fabric and even get the sleeves cut out so that way it can be a nice little flowy elastic sleeve top. So I'm just taking you guys with me. This probably will be like part one video and I might just do the top. So first, I laid out the fabric to make sure I had the right fold to be as conservative as possible when using the fabric so I didn't use it all up. I'm cutting crazily, but I ended up cutting out two of the front bodice pieces and then four of the side pieces. Then I just laid them out. That's what they look like after I cut them out and I got ready to sew them right sides down. But before that, I had to put darts in, so I went ahead and traced the darts from my original pattern into the bodice pieces and then sewed those down. That's what they looked like on the front and the back. Then next, I just put right sides facing the two sides of the bodice and sewed that down. Had two different pieces. that I eventually put right sides together and then sew that down as well. When I sewed this down, I actually um, had the bright idea to put two things of elastic on one of the sides so that way they connect to some outside buttons, which I thought would be really cool. And that way where the elastic was sewn, you couldn't see because it was in the seam. And that's what it looked like. Next, I went ahead and ironed down and hemmed the bottom to sew that down as well. And then I also added the buttons, which you'll see these really cute blue buttons that I found. And that's what it looks like um, on the back when you close it. I was super excited at this point with this step because it turned out exactly the way I wanted to. Now I'm moving on to sleeves. I just traced the basic sleeve pattern knowing that I would put elastic at the top. I went ahead and hemmed the bottoms first and then also added a channel to the top to feed the elastic through. And to measure the elastic, all I did was take the arm circumference of my sister's like upper forearm and like made that work. Um, now I'm just scrunching the elastic through and then I will sew it down. And then you got yourself some sleeves, baby. So all together, that's what it looks like sewed down. And I was really happy with this. Okay, so I put it on my sister, and I realized I definitely need to make the, I want to make the bottom of the sleeve wider, but I need to make the top of the sleeve wider too because she can barely lift her arm up, so that's unfortunate. But all in all, it's still very cute. Turn around. So you can see, yeah, the little clips in the back. Okay, turn back around. Okay, yeah. That's cute though. <laughs> yes, I can. Alright guys, so I made the sleeves a little bigger and I do like it a lot more. I wish it would scrunch in a little bit more, but she can lift her arms up. Lift your arms up. There we go, and it's not really a problem. I might put this up higher, but for right now, I'm Gucci with this. Turn around, let me see the back with the little buttons. I finally got to use my cute little blue buttons that I've had. Hold on, they can't see, I gotta zoom in. 
there we go. These cute little buttons that I've had for a while now, just never really had a use for them. All right, guys, so that is the top done. I'm actually super happy with it in general. Um, I wish the sleeves were a little bit wavier, but with the real fabric that we bought for um, this outfit, it has a little bit more volume, so I feel like it will sit a little bigger. But that is the top done. I'm gonna try to make some bottoms, like matching bottoms too, but I made this out of a shower curtain, so there's not much left, so I'm gonna have to make shorts instead. But I think I'm gonna start on that after dinner, um, so either I'll see you guys tonight or tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is a few days later now, and it's time to finish up on this test run of my sister's graduation outfit. Last night, I was supposed to try and make the pant using one of the patterns that I have, but a random YouTube video popped up about sewing this really cool top, and so I decided to do that instead as a test for the top part, like the top bodice part of my sister's dress that she wanted. So this is what it looks like. It actually turned out really well, and I only had a little bit of that um, leafy tropical fabric left anyway. So I made this, and the crazy thing is, all it took was these three patterns. So basically, I just did a little waist measurement on where I wanted the bottom part to hit and how long I wanted it to be. Then all you need is a, a front piece for your front, <laughs> which you have to put like an inch dart into, and then back straps, which I made um, a little bit longer than the actual shirt, just in case I wanted to have like buttons on the back or um, have it cinch in some kind of way. So here's the front, and then on the back, it looks like this. So it was a really fun top, and like if you wanted to make this into a dress, all you had to do was all you have to do is leave this side open, and then you can attach any dress part you want to, to there, and then there's still a button from the front, because this is the front, but I thought having the buttons on the front would be really cute. So today I'm going to try and finish the pant. I need to find a good fabric to use, just because I'm running out of like test fabrics to use. So out of the thrifted patterns I have, these are the ones that kind of maybe will work, because my sister wants a wide leg pant very similar to this one. And I feel like I just might use this one. But like even these pants, though they're not wide leg, but I'll probably most likely use this. And I already have my sister's measurements, so it's just about looking at the back to make sure that it can fit her. So this is the, the mess I've encountered from opening that. But thankfully, I was able to find the back and front of the pants in the picture. So I'm just gonna get started cutting these out. Not gonna lie, the front pattern was so big, I almost contemplated not using it, but I'm glad I did because it worked out exactly the way it was supposed to. And then also I just went ahead and added the darts and pleats as well so I could draw them in myself. Cool, so I just finished cutting everything out and this should be pretty simple because there's no pockets um, or is, there is a zipper, but it's in the back. So there's no zipper fly. The front is gonna need the most work because there's like a, oh, there's two pleats, two two inch pleats, which is crazy. And then a dart that I have to put in before and then the back is just one dart. After I put the darts in, I went ahead and joined the back since that's where the zipper was going to be and made room for the zipper. And then I went ahead and just sewed it down. This was a different method of putting in the zipper that I don't normally use but I actually found it very effective when done right because I did mess up a couple of times you will see um, further into the video but this is a cool way if you don't have an invisible zipper to still try to hide your zipper and once I do it right I think it will look really good I'm purposely not showing you the top where I messed up so I went ahead and put the fronts together and then put the front and backs together right sides facing, flip them out. Had my sister try them on, so I skipped a few steps showing you guys, I kind of was just in the in the uh, zone, so I went really fast. They fit her pretty nicely, I thought they were gonna be a little bit too small. Now I'm just going to get the waistband ready to put around because it's gonna buckle on the back, and I'm not gonna show you the top because that's where I messed up trying to do the zipper. But this is just a test anyway. And at this point I also went and surged the sides and everything so it'd be nice and neat on the inside, and then I just put on the waistband. After we give these boys a good steam, I think it's fine. But this is with the top that we made on the first shift. But yeah, it actually is really cute with the top. And then imagine this was the same fabric for the pants, a little wide leg, and then it buttons in the back. Turn around, but the back looked crazy, y'all, because I really messed it up. 
and I have it pinned right now because it's supposed to be a button here. And then I'm gonna get the zipper right because this is definitely not right. But yeah, that's cute. That'd be really cute too. All right, guys, so that's the mock outfit done. So that is the two piece that my sister sent me um, to kind of get an idea of what she wanted for her graduation outfit. I'm glad I definitely did a test fabric first before I did the real one because there were definitely some mess ups. Grazie. There were definitely some mess ups, but all in all, I think it looks pretty good. And then the next video will be me working on the real fabric. And actually I can tease what the real fabric will look like. So it's gonna be a matching two piece of this plaid fabric, this like navy and brown, which is gonna be really cool. So I'm very excited about that. Um, but that's what that two piece that you just saw is gonna be made of. It's gonna be matching with this. So if you guys wanna see how that turns out, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. You can give it a big thumbs up. We have been growing really fast, and I said that in the last video, but truly, I think we hit 5,000 at the start of this quarantine stuff, and now we're already at 5.5. That's 500 more subscribers, which is insane to me. Um, I know a lot of you guys are coming from my little DIY patchwork denim pant video, and that was really fun to make. So I'm glad you guys are getting some inspiration, but I will see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.